I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the form wizard here in Microsoft Access. A form is a data entry screen. So, of course, we made our tables over here. But what, let's say you want to always be able to add records or change records into that table. Well, you don't really always want to go into this screen, and you certainly don't want your users to go into this screen because it's confusing. It's not really that user friendly. So what we would do is you should make a, ta a form for each of your different tables that are going to be updated. There's a form wizard that's built into Microsoft Access that makes that really easy for you. So we'll pick on Create. And then notice how we have our tables, and then right over here we have our forms. So to get to the form wizard, you're going to pick on create, and then you come over here, you pick on more forms, and you say form wizard. Okay, now um, you want to make sure you pick the proper table or the proper query. So we're going to click on that pull down, and let's use the orders table as an example. Uh, so you notice how you can also make a uh, form out of a query as well. Uh, so what's the difference? Well, if you made a form from the table, then the form can update every single record in the table. If you made a form from the query, then it can only update the records uh, uh, that are in the query. So that's the difference. But the, the data, by the way, always goes back to the table anyway. But with the query, you're just giving, giving them limited records. So once you pick your table, then you're going to pick your fields. You can pick as many fields as you wanted to for the form. Uh, in this case, we're just going to pick maybe the top five, order ID, customer ID, employee ID, order date, and required date. I'm just, uh, I'm just going to double click on those, and we'll, maybe we'll use the ship date. And then maybe we'll have the, uh, the order amount. Okay, so uh, you can pick as many fields as you wanted to. We'll pick on next. Now, it's talking about what layout would you like for your form. A columnar form, if you look at this picture over here, the name of the field is to the left of the actual field. So here it might say address, and here would be the space where you would type in the address. A columnar form has one record per screen, and uh, that's a pretty typical form. Okay, a, a tabular, on the other hand, has the name of the fields up top, and then you have a list of records. So a tabular is more than one record per screen. It's a list of records. A data sheet makes the form look like uh, the table, if you prefer that format. Now, the data sheet is also one record per screen, where you have the name of the field up top and the records are listed below that. But it looks like a table. It has more functionality than a table has, but at least it looks like a table if you like that format. And then the justified is where uh, it's still back to one, one record per screen, but now the name of the field is above the actual field. So it's just a different way to look at um, one record per screen. Uh, the, quite frankly, probably about 90% of the time, I personally use either columnar or tabular, but the other ones are there as well. Let's pick on columnar. We'll pick on next. Now, it's talking about a style. So if you go through some of these, Notice on the, on the uh, left side of the screen, it's just showing you the screen appearance. So these are built in styles and you can use. Okay, so maybe your company has a standard or maybe you're going to make the standard. You can find ones that you like there. Uh, so that one looks pretty, uh, pretty good. We'll pick on next. And then we're done with the uh, wizard. It wants to know the name of our form. And then we'll pick on finish. And what it did for us, it made a quick data entry screen. Okay, so when when you first open up a form, it's going to put that it's going to put that on the first record of the table that you're dealing with. If you notice, it says record one down here, so it's easy enough to go to the next and previous records. This icon over here brings you to the first record. This is um, previous. This is next. So now it should be bring, bring me to record two and then record three, and this will bring you to the last record. So this should bring me to record uh, 830. So it's really easy to go back and forth between your records. Now let's say you want to go to a specific record by its number. You're going to click on the record number, and then let's say we'll, we'll type in uh, record 100, and then hit the enter key, and now I'm on record 100. So it's really easy to go from record to record. Uh, you, you show your, your, your other person. If you're not going to be the one that's using the form, 
uh, you show the other person how to use this. Now you can click on each field. In each field you can do a find or a sort or the filters just like we can in a table. Uh, there's actually videos on the, uh, on the table that shows you how to use the finds and the source, but just be aware that you can do that on the form as well. So you can search your data really quickly with this. Let's say you want to add a new record. Follow my mouse and you're going to click on the asterisk at the bottom of the screen or you can also pick on the asterisk at the top of the screen where it says new. Either one is okay. It does the same thing. We'll pick on new and now you see we're on a blank record. Okay, so um, now the order ID, whenever you see the word new there in a field, that means it's going to fill in automatically. It's an auto number field. So uh, I'm going to pick on the pull down for the customer and then I'm going to pick on the pull down for the employee. And then for the order date, uh, because that's a date field, notice how the calendar comes up. So you can either type in the date or you can use the calendar. And we'll just pick a date there. Uh, maybe the required date, maybe they need that by, um, by the 20th of, of um, November. So I'll type that in. Or, of course, I could have used the calendar. And maybe it hasn't shipped yet, right? So um, we'll leave the ship date uh, blank. And then maybe for the order amount, it was $100. So I'll just type that in. So even though we're talking about forms as a topic, this record is going to go back to the table. The data always goes back to the table. The form is just kind of an easy way to do data entry into the table. It's more user friendly than going back into the table. But we were able to make this form with the form wizard. Uh, that kind of amazes me because I used to do this manually using like COBOL code or FoxPro code. And what we just did there in a few minutes, it would take me a whole day if you were programming that in a programming language. So the form wizard saves you a tremendous amount of time in helping you build uh, an application. At that point, I'm going to close that form. Now that record really did go back to the orders table. However, now if you notice, I have my tables, I have my queries, and then below that, I have that form. That's how we can use the form wizard to make a quick form. What I would recommend to you is that you have a form for every table in your database, and that way you'll be able to do data entry. Just use the form wizard to make those forms, and it makes it really easy for you.